Hello. I was supposed to take a trip to Spain to save the president's daughter, but instead stuff happened. So what's up? What does it look like to take a $24 billion L? In an email to employees talking about equity stuff, Musk says that he's now valuing Twitter at about $20 billion. This is down from the $44 billion that he bought it for. This is possibly due to the fact that the site has constant outages and is riddled with Nazis, and all advertisers are pulling out because of that. In an extremely bizarre twisting of words, Musk also referred to the company as a reverse startup. I get what he was going for, like, I get it, but like, that's, that's just bizarre, my guy. Anyway, reverse startup Twitter is also planning to remove blue check marks from verified accounts that aren't actually paying for Twitter Blue on April Fool's Day, nonetheless. What this means is any celebrity or notable person who has been verified and isn't currently paying Elon Musk will lose their verified status. And I guarantee you that Twitter is going to step this back and be like, huh, it was actually, it was just an April Fool's joke. We didn't mean to cause all that fraud. Two more quick funny things about this bird site. One, they're reportedly also going to allow people to hide their blue check marks out of presumably shame. And two, their source code got leaked. Just put out there on the internet and they're trying to figure out how that happened. Which is funny cause like, they're trying to apparently open source the Twitter algorithm and Musk was already like, um, it's gonna be bad when we release it. Just, just wait on that. But someone went ahead and did it for them, I guess. Moving on, Levi's, the pants company is partnering with an AI firm to generate more diverse models for their clothing. <laughs> Instead of paying more diverse models to model their clothes, they'd rather just have an AI guess at what it would look like. Now, Levi's makes a halfway okay argument of saying, well, they want to make it as tailored to the individual as possible and have as much diversity as possible. And the best way to do that is to, I guess, have a computer pretend that they're being more diverse than they're actually being. A very certain type of person is worth paying an actual model for, but for the rest of you, you get a computer's best guess. Now, diversity and inclusion inclusivity is important, but when you get to the point of your company where you want to expand your addressable market by using AI tools to have better diversity and inclusion, I think you need to take a step back and look at your business practices. Cops are not in danger when compared to actual professions like teaching. The Washington Post did a deep dive into workplace violence and danger and found that cops are not even anywhere near the top and women are experiencing far more violence than they used to. And when looking at fatalities on the job, cops are nowhere to be found comparatively. Fishing, farming, roofing, and even groundskeeping beat out being a cop. And professions that are largely dominated by women experience far, far more workplace violence than anything. In fact, between 2011 and 2019, there was a 32% drop in attacks on cops. Some tigers got loose in Georgia? Some tigers got loose in Georgia. Some tigers got loose in Georgia. A safari park in Georgia had tigers and a storm came through and let them out. And so some tigers got loose in Georgia? I mean, they're back now. But time for a bummer. A tornado has torn through a small town in Mississippi, about a population of 2,000, majority black, and a pretty high poverty rate. The town essentially got level. There have been at least 25 reported deaths so far, and the mayor of the town is quoted in saying, my city is gone. There are both state and federal relief efforts underway, but I mean, a lot of lives have just been catastrophically altered from this. This is just a reminder, like if you have natural disasters in your area, have a have a plan ready. Not to say that these people didn't and not to say that plans will fix everything, but just be safe out there. All right, bringing the vibes back up. The drippy Pope is not real and he cannot hurt you. AI generated images of the Pope in some really dope outfits started circulating online and some people were questioning if they were real because those people live in a fantasy world. No, the Pope was not wearing a Pope themed puffy coat. Similar to the AI generated photos of Trump being arrested, there's a lot of talk about AI misinformation stuff happening right now. And I would argue that we don't need AI to help misinformation spread. While these photos are very convincing, they are not much better than just a really good Photoshop or even a pretty okay Photoshop. And we already have tons of misinformation from pretty okay Photoshops. The best way to push back on misinformation is a modicum of critical thinking. And like, yes, it shouldn't exist in the first place. This, this, this is not good to have. If we can have less misinformation, that would be good. But that's probably not going to happen as quickly as we could say, I don't know, don't believe pictures of the Pope wearing a getup. People are predisposed to just accept things that don't seem challenging enough to merit further investigation. So 
headlines or images or whatever that come through your feed, most misinformation, people are just like, huh, and they move on. They're not like, oh, this is so real. I'm gonna internalize this forever. They're just like, oh yeah, that. And that's still bad. That's still harmful, but like, just have a skeptical eye. Rapid fire. Farewell to Ash as he has finished his Pokemon journey as the final episode of Pokemon starring Ash has aired. Biden's FAA leadership pick has withdrawn their nomination after Republicans and Kirsten Cinema in the Senate didn't seem to support him. Mitch McConnell is unfortunately out of the hospital after his concussion. A Pennsylvania school district is suing Norfolk Southern over their Ohio train disaster, saying that the plume of smoke of dangerous chemicals is causing damage to their property. Netflix nearly lost the streaming rights to Arrested Development, but snatched it back at the last minute. There are rumors of internal strife at Apple around their AR VR headset that would be coming out probably pretty soon. Some people are apparently not convinced it's a good idea. And finally for today, massive YouTube presence Linus Tech Tips was hacked. Like super, super, super hacked. Like all three channels just covered in Elon Musk crypto spam and then deleted. They have since recovered their stuff. They're, they're good now. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and uh, a stairway to heaven. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Wednesday. Take care and be well.